السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته مساء الخير I welcome you all to the seminar on exploring economic opportunities in West Asia, organized by the Centre for West Asian Studies, John Emilia Samia, in collaboration with the Policy Times. First of all, I'd like to thank one and all present here to take up some time from your busy schedule to be a part of this seminar. As we all know, West Asia, a region enriched with energy and other natural resources, provides immense opportunities for business and employment, especially for India. A large number of Indian expatriates work in the Arab world. India's earnings from remittances from the Arab world is more than any part of the world. There is also immense potential for business in IT and IT construction, civil engineering, etc. So the main purpose of this seminar is to give everyone an insight about all the possible economic opportunities which are present in West Asia. We will also talk about Indian's contribution in West Asia, its business culture, how wealth is created there and also about all the policies and regulations related to economic activities. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome everyone here. Thank you so much for being here. Now I request Dr. Humayu Akhtar Nazmi sir to present the sapling to Mr. KTM Lokbudhar, Deputy High Commissioner of Bangladesh. Thank you very much. 
very warm welcome to all of you and good morning. I must welcome His Excellency Mr. Akram Hak from the uh, is he, is he, is he, is he, Mr. Ibn Hak from Deputy High Commissioner of Bangladesh. Jamal Baitoria from Tunisia, respected three star JMI, Mr. A.B. Siddiqui, IPS from Yanni Milia Islamia, Professor Zedem Khan from Institute of Objective and all the delegates and friends. This is a very modest beginning to start our joint program on economic opportunities in West Asia by the two collaboration the policy time and center for West Asia. We have started this program to target our students who are doing in the center for West Asia team MA, MPhil and PhD programs and they are is studying the various aspects of the station. We are basically focusing on the social science aspect of that region, economic, political, and cultural relation between India and Laos. And in this field, the center of the station is this is last one decade, almost one decade has done a remarkable research for us. We have produced some 70 PhD and MPhil research works on various aspects of their teachers. And our students are spread all over the world, even in West Asian countries. And a good number of them are implied in the corporate sector. We have recently started MA International Relation Administration is one of the most sought after course in the university and many scholars from the Indian universities and even foreign universities are targeting this course and we are very successful by having some 70 students in this course. So this is a very good opportunity to organize this workshop to, and we are very happy that our guests have accepted our invitation and we hope that with their deliberation and insights we can chart out further program and initiative to work for our students in the future. With this brief introduction, I will ask Mr. Akram Hart to initiate the program. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, Excellency uh, Mr. Jamal Bazdaria, uh, Deputy Chief of Mission Embassy of Tunisia to India, uh, Mr. Uh, Excellency Mr. ATM uh, Rakhipul Haq, uh, Deputy High uh, Commissioner of Bangladesh, uh, uh, Mr. A.P. Siddiqui uh, Sir, a very senior IT officer and uh, very star of Jamia Milka Islamia University and one of the brightest civil servants of this country. Uh, we are grateful to you, uh, sir, to be uh, to take up some time and be part of this uh, important seminar. Uh, Dr. Zaidan Khan sir, uh, Dr. Mustaq Shakir Al uh, Shivani sir, uh, and uh, Agwan sir. Thank you so much, and all other dignitaries, uh, students, and scholars from Jamia Millia Islamia University. So, um, we have been talking on this subject for uh, quite some time now and uh, I will just briefly uh, introduce this subject why we chose uh, exploring economic opportunities in West Asia and how. So, uh, we first try to identify an idea to, uh, you know, so we know West Asia for many other reasons. We thought what other reasons we should talk about uh, which brings real development and real which can be really also progressive in nature. So we thought, why not talk about economic opportunities in this region? 
uh, if you see uh, West Asia uh, provides highest remittances incomes for India today. So I mean our remittances income from this region is highest that comes from this uh, West Asia. To understand this region, uh, I want to just put forward some facts. Uh, the population of Arab countries, West Asia is around 350 million now, which is going to touch, which is going to in fact double by 2045 uh, according to a World Bank study. Now, if the population grows, so is its uh, demand for different uh, resources. So if you see West Asia, there are three largest economies, uh, Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates and Egypt. They are the three largest economies and uh, they almost represent 50% of the region's output and also uh, so is the demand of the region. And Saudi Arabia alone accounts for 25% of the total output of the region. Even in terms of per capita, we know it uh, that per capita income of the Arab countries is highest among, among highest in the world. So if you see Qatar, UAE and Kuwait enjoy uh, one of the highest per capita incomes of this world. And this is followed by Saudi Arabia, Bahrain and Oman. They also have a very high per capita. High per capita gives a reflection of the purchasing power of the region or of the country or of the population. So which means, uh, now coming to the trade, uh, foreign trade perspective, again Saudi Arabia and UAE, United Arab Emirates, uh, are the dominating and prominent nations in that. The aggregate trade is 400 uh, billion euro, which is more than 500 billion dollars. <coughs> Now other countries like Egypt, Iraq, Kuwait, they also, their aggregate trade is 100 billion uh, pound plus, means 150 billion dollars approximately. Now this provides immense opportunity for India because Indians uh, like NRI's dominance and contributions in the Middle East countries, uh, in the Arab countries is immense. Today, most of these industries are, are run and driven by Indians, Indian NRI, especially if you talk about Dubai. So we thought that uh, this can be a very nice topic to discuss and, and, and how our students, our university students can benefit from the progress being made by these NRIs, these industries and these people. So with these uh, words, I would like to uh, thank you all our dignitaries to be part of this uh, uh, seminar. Uh, now, I would like to request uh, Mr. A.P. Siddiqui, as very senior IPS officer, to kindly uh, deliver the inaugural address, sir.